Hello, I'm Randy here, and we're playing Farming Simulator 15 on Oklahoma. And since last episode, I finished mowing field six here, and hopefully you folks are ready to do some bailing. You know, I, f I figure we should get a few bales off this, maybe a, a dozen or two bales. That should about uh, about do it. Uh, hopefully we get more than that, because I do have a dozen pieces of equipment. Well, actually, yeah, I'd be two dozen pieces of equipment. Uh, I got a dozen tractors and a dozen balers. Well, balers and rakes lined up here. Pretty much got all the big tractors we have over here, plus uh, the 4440 and an international, and the uh, the 49. 55, which is wandering away over here. Don't know why that is. Uh, that tractor does have a problem with wandering. But anyway, for those of you wondering, how long did it take to mow this field? I had a lot of guesses. Uh, a couple of you folks are really close. But it took about 2 hours and 45 minutes. And that was it, folks. Only 2 hours and 45 minutes to mow this field. Now, I do have a high-speed video of this. Uh, unfortunately, I was going to make a high-speed video of the entire field. You know, like the whole two hours and 45 minutes, folks. I was, well, actually, it only be about two hours long because the first half hour there we, we did last episode. But uh, I was going to do the entire mowing of this field in one high-speed video. I thought that would be rather interesting. But unfortunately, halfway through, the uh, the game crashed. And I, of course, I lost the recording there for the first half of this field. So I only have half half the field recorded basically in the uh, high speed video but that will be I'll probably be uh, putting that out the same time I put this video out so it'll probably be out before this one but yes about 2 hours and 45 minutes to mow this field which actually isn't too bad I didn't think uh, I had several people that uh, guessed are about 3 hours I don't think anybody said less than 3 hours so I had a couple people that said 3 hours uh, a lot of people that said about 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 hours somewhere in that mark that was a little high. That's actually, I actually thought that's what it was going to be as well. I figured it'd probably be in the uh, four to six hour mark. Uh, it actually surprised me too. It only took two hours and 45 minutes. So anyway, let's uh, get started this episode and we'll get some rakes going here. Well, first off, we need a course play course. And we only need to generate one here. At least that's going to be the theory anyway. Hopefully we're going to have one course. We're going to have the rakes and the balers all run the same course. And yes, these Fent 939s, uh, maybe a little overkill on the rakes, but that's kind of what I had around. So I don't really have much in the way of smaller tractors. I guess I got the 4020 yet. And what else do I have? I've got the International 3588. I didn't really want to get that one over here. And then I guess I got the Farmall 1206. So I could have gotten two more small tractors over here. But I figured, well, we got the fence. We might as well use those. And I got all the uh, John Deere's lined up on the balers there with one Massey Ferguson baler in the mix. I thought about uh, about uh, replacing this Massey Ferguson, buying another John Deere. I was like, ah, why not? I'm, I'm not going to buy another baler. So anyway, field edge path number six. Uh, working with. Oh, uh, that is a good question. I probably should have figured this out maybe before I started recording. What is the width on these rakes? Doesn't say. How helpful. Sure, uh, GPS will uh, tell us here. We'll get it folded out here a moment. Okay, what do we got? 8.4 meters. I think we're just going to go maybe with 8 meters, just to make the math a little simpler here. I don't think I quite dare to push it to 9, so we'll go with 8. So 8 times, what do we got, 6? 48 meters? Double check that. It's 8 meters times 6, should be 48, yep. So we're going to generate that, and starting corner will be northeast. And uh, instead of going long ways on the field, folks, we're actually going to be going the short way on the field. Uh, the reason being these rakes do not work in a north-south direction, unfortunately. They work in an east-west direction. Kind of weird how the rake 
actually only works in one direction. I don't understand how uh, how a mod author can make it only work that way or what, what's wrong with it, but that, that's the way this rake works, so that's the way we're going to work with it. So we will be going in, I guess that'll be a west direction. Headlands. One should suffice, I think, and we are going to do it after. Like, yeah, one, one headland should be good enough here, I think. I don't think we need more than one. I was uh, thinking about that a moment. It's like, nope, that, that should be good, I think. Okay, generate the course. Shouldn't take too long here, so we'll just uh, keep recording here a moment. Hey, that was pretty quick. The uh, the size of the course, you know, 48 meters, the bigger the width, the quicker it generates. So if I was, say, to generate a 6-meter course, that would probably take a while. So we're going to save this field 6. And we'll probably delete this course when we're done with it. I double check. I think I already deleted the mowing course. I believe that is gone already. No, I did not. Okay, well, let's do that here a moment. I don't think there's a reason to keep that. Okay, now we got need to get some offsets going. So we're going to have you starting on... I guess you'll be starting on the right side. He's already on the left, so we're going to go to the right. And let me think about this here a moment. So the uh, first one in is going to be at 4 meters. Then it'll be 12. And then it'll be 20. So this would be 20 meter offset. If I'm uh, correct on this anyway, we'll, uh, we'll find out. Okay, first waypoint. He should be able to find his way from here. Famous last words. And you will be 12 to the right. Nope, not quite that far. I'm going a little too far there. 12. I'm assuming I got these lined up. Yes, I do. Lined up according to the way they are in the vehicle group switcher. And you will be four to the right. And we'll see once here in a moment if I got my math uh, worked out right. Ooh, I might have wanted to stage those a little more. They might be a little close together. Uh, kind of like I was saying about the mowing folks. Uh, it shouldn't matter too much because they're mowing. Uh, it's not like they're going to be filling up or emptying at all. They're just going to keep going. So they shouldn't get in the, each other's way. Now, I, I said that about the uh, the mowers as well, folks. Um, that did not actually happen. The mowers did manage to pile themselves all up in one spot, uh, kind of right in this area of the field here. They all managed to just pile up right there. Boom. So I don't know what was up with that, but uh, they did all manage to catch up to each other or something somehow and all got stuck there. So you're going to be four to the left. I guess I should load the course, too. That might help. First waypoint, please. <laughs> Otherwise, I have no idea where you're going to start. Not sure I want to know either, to be honest. And lane offset, you will be 12 to the left. And finally, the international. And you'll be 20 to the left. Okay, let's see how we're looking over here. All right, sure is dark in the game. Maybe it's just me, folks, but it really seems dark in the game. I don't know why that is. Actually, you know what? It must be dark in the game because look at this, folks. Course play has turned the lights on. Not supposed to like get any rain here, are we? Weather forecast. Nope, doesn't show any rain, at least not today anyway. In the game time, that is anyway. Uh, 
Okay, so looks like everything's going quite smoothly so far. And like I was saying there, we have the headland last, so that should work hopefully okay. That'll clean up any mess along the headlands that uh, is left remaining. And I know somebody uh, commented there on the last video, hey, make sure you run the headlands last. Um, I typically forget to do that. I, when I set up the courses, I always forget to change it so that the headland is last. But I remember to do that this time, so... And yes, it would be nice to go long ways up and down the field. Uh, but like I said, these uh, particular rakes will not produce a good win. Uh, speaking of these rakes, why am I using these rakes? Now, uh, you folks may be wondering that. I could not, uh, in fact, I even have, do I have one or two of them? I could have gotten a couple more crone swadros here and uh, rake the field that way. That would be, uh, what would I could do? Two of them. I, I guess I would need three of them. And it will still be larger than six of these rakes. You folks might be wondering why in the world would he do that? Well, to answer your folks' question, I'm afraid about loss of material. For those of you not familiar with Farming Simulator and Winrows, uh, when you try to put too much material into a Farming Simulator Winrow, you lose it. And I'm a little concerned about the uh, Crone Swadro. And I shouldn't even say a little bit concerned. I pretty much know... If I use the Corone Swadro, I am going to lose material, and I will not get as many bales. So in order to get the maximum possible amount of bales here, I am using the smaller wind rows here, wind rowers. And yes, only 8 meters, so this should be, hopefully work out okay. The way it's raking, it looks like I probably actually could have gotten away with 9 so let's see, 9 times 6 would have been 54 meters. Definitely been a little bit wider there. Now, for you folks wondering how long will this take, I'm going to guess about two and a half hours, folks. Uh, we're mowing just a little... Mowing. We are raking just a little bit wider than the mowers. Uh, the mowers are 40 meters. We're at 48 raking. So I'm thinking it's going to take about two and a half hours. Um, should be going about the same speed as the mowers, give or take a little bit maybe. I'm pretty sure we'll, you know, we'll finish pretty quickly here, I would think. Uh, this is what I was talking about right here, this mess the, uh, the wind rollers are making. Yeah, obviously, if I was doing it myself, I probably wouldn't make quite the big a mess. Uh, yeah, of course, but like does some derpy turning around here. I think that's what's up with that. Uh, and this, by the way, uh, somebody asked as well, why did you not have... The wind rowers rakes going at the same time you're mowing. Uh, this is one of the reasons right here. Because I am raking in a different direction than what the mowers are going. Um, I suppose I probably could have set the mowers so they went the same way. They went east and west as well. But I figured, you know, north, south. Obviously, when doing this, you kind of want to go the long way on the field. You minimize the amount of turns. And that would be ideal with these rakes as well. But like I mentioned, they will not work good in the uh, north-south direction, so I do have to go east-west. Now, I did consider buying a couple of the uh, smaller in-game rakes. I uh, kind of decided against that. It's like, I'm just going to go with these uh, Vermeer wheel rakes. I kind of like the way they look and the way they function. Uh, like I said, very common to see this style of rake, at least where I live anyway. And it looks like everything is going smoothly so far, which I am happy about. So let's uh, head over to our balers then. Now I was going through my tractors here, figuring out what tractors I was going to use for baling. Um, I came up, as you folks can probably tell, one large tractor short. I've got the 8220, 7310, the 8370, another 8370, and the 7290. Like, wow, crap. I've got a Case Magnum 380. I was considering using that, but I don't know about you folks. It just did not look right having five John Deere's lined up with a, with John Deere balers and one uh, case in the mix. It's like, ah, oh, boy, I really need to get another John Deere. So anyway, we brought the wandering John Deere 4955 over here. 200-horsepower uh, tractor, so it should be big enough to run a, uh, a big baler like this. 
Uh, worst case, if it's not in the game anyway, we'll uh, we'll get the case over here. I did consider putting the case on the Massey Ferguson here. Again, it looks a little odd, but I didn't really want to spend the money to buy another baler, so... Okay, let's get the uh, John Deere here fired up. And they're going to be running the same courses, by the way, for those of you wondering how we're going to set this up. And hopefully, hopefully they will go the same speed or slower than the wind rowers so they don't catch up with the rakes. Let's see, you will be to the right 20. And first waypoint and drive the course. And we'll try to set these up in the order they are in the vehicle group switcher. That way, you know, if I'm tabbing to them, it'll make it you know, hopefully easier. And you to the right as well at 12. And there we go, folks. Our first bale on the field there. Oh, and look at them bales just popping out there. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there should be a lot of bales. Now, here's a question for you, folks. Um, I was considering, you know, picking or trying to pick up these bales as I went. I've kind of decided against that, folks. I am going to have all the bales, hopefully, if my game don't crash anyway, or my computer, you know, melts down on me or something. I'm going to have all the bales that this field produces on this field. I am not going to pick any of them up. So here's the good guessing game, folks. How many bales will I get off this field? And By the way, uh, I'd expect it'll be a large number. So for those of you guessing, I'll give you a hint. It's going to be a large number. <laughs> Okay, next 8370. Uh wrong tra uh, okay, what what are you in? Oh, yeah, okay. That that might help. Okay, there we go. And I believe that's all in group four. And I'm going to go, go to group three here. And you will be four to the left. So for those of you accounting, like I was saying when we started the episode here, this is 12 tractors working in this field. Six tractors raking, six tractors bailing. By no means a, a record for what I've done in Oklahoma, but it's still quite a few, uh, quite a few tractors working on the fields here. Okay, and I believe there's one last tractor left to go yet. We got one left. Just one left, right? Yes, just one left. 49.95, or 49, 49.55. I don't know why, I always want to say 95. It's the 49.55. I don't think they even make a 49.95 tractor that I know of. Okay, and you are 22 to the left.
Wow, folks, look at all them bales there. Oh, my goodness. Whose idea was this? And why am I doing this? Uh, we... Oh, okay, there we go. I was going to say, uh, we're having troubles here. There he goes. So, yes, yeah, just uh, look up at the glance mod there. You can see all 12 tractors. We got a fent barrel that's going 6.2 miles an hour. Okay. Everybody else looks like they're doing... Ooh, the 7310 is going 15. I'm going to fix that. Everybody else looks like they're doing 12, so I want to make sure field speed... 11, 12, somewhere in there. We'll go We'll go to 12, I guess. I don't want uh, one tractor getting w way ahead of the other ones, so... In theory, with the bailing here, as long as the rakes stay ahead, it shouldn't matter. I, I just don't want to take a chance on them getting piled up. Looks like this one actually has gotten ahead, actually, hasn't he? As he's going down, looks like this windrow here. So that means the tractor here has not made it yet. Okay, so this uh, tractor has made 32 bales this session already. Like I said, you folks uh, make some guesses. And surprisingly, we're not having any issues yet. Uh, obviously, I was a little concerned about that. I was uh, predicting some possible crashings here. Now, I don't like what I'm seeing here. It looks like those two fences are a little close. I kind of like the uh, spacing I see here. That looks kind of like a nice spacing. Uh, the biggest thing I'm worried about when they turn around, that is where they might potentially get uh, get in traffic, basically. Getting in each other's way. Uh, it seems like course play does some derpy uh, turning around maneuvers sometimes when it gets to the end of the field. Okay, this one's still going 12.4, so I'm going to bump him down 11. See what's when he goes. 11.8. Okay, perfect. Going the same speed as most of the rest of them then, so that's good. That, uh, 8370 should be refueled. Already? Oh, you're not an 8370. You're a 4955. Okay. 4955 masquerading itself as a uh, 8370. Nice try. Anyway, we'll uh, read a couple comments here from last episode. Uh, Happy TNT Gamer was saying, I like Farming Simulator 13 map. Also like to play Farming Simulator 13. Uh, Neil was saying, hopefully they will convert Oklahoma to Farming Simulator 17. I expect they probably will. I would say probably most of the maps that were available in 13 have been converted over to 15. And I don't know if you folks noticed that little bit of lag spike there. I believe that's the autosave happening every five minutes. I think that's the third or fourth one I've noticed now. So uh, It seems like autosave, when you start getting bales on a field like this, it, there's something it doesn't like about it. Uh, probably the fact that it has to save all the bale locations. I'm guessing maybe that takes a little longer, which might be a problem here. Uh, we're already up to 40 bales on this one. So, uh, basic math here, folks. And yes, I said basic. We got... Let's stick with 40 because it makes it easier. Uh, we got 40 bales on the field. Assuming all the bales, balers have about the same bales. So, 40 times 6. I'm not going to answer you folks, but you folks can figure that out. Just from... This will be... This one's on its second. Looks like some of the other bales are on their third. So, yes, we are going to have a few bales on this field. 
And this is why I wanted to use the uh, Vermeer rakes as well. I suspect you'll probably only get half as many bales if you use the uh, Curl and Swadro. Uh, when we use the Oxbow Merger there, I forget how many bales we got off the field, folks, but it was like it was barely even worth baling the field. We got so few bales. Whereas the last time we did it, we used just the uh, the Mocos and the Vermeer wheel rakes. We we got so many bales, folks. It was ridiculous. What was it? Six hundred, seven hundred, six seven hundred bales off the field last time we did it. Whereas the time before, I think we got like fifty. So massive difference there between the Vermeer wheel rakes here and the Oxbow merger. Now I, I suspect there's something wrong there. I don't think uh, we should be losing that much with the Oxbow merger. So I don't know if maybe there's something wrong with the Oxbow that causes it just to plain lose material, period. Or if these Vermeer rakes are like doing something crazy in the back and doubling it. I, I don't think they would, but I guess you never know. But yes, we definitely getting way more bales off of just field 12 than we did with the Oxbow merger using the Vermeer wheel rakes. Uh, my name is you is saying high speed anything ruins the video because it doesn't tell you how long it would take to actually finish the job. Got a point there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to address your uh, concern there. I know in some of the videos I have left the uh, the HUD up so you folks can actually see the time up there. Uh, typically I always record in real time, at least on the Oklahoma anyway. So if you look, it's 1x time. It is real time. So in some of the high-speed videos, if you look at the time up in the top corner, you can figure out how long it took me to make that video because it will be real-time clock up there. Now, I don't think I left the clock up for mowing. Uh, I can double-check that, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. For those of you wondering, it was, I think, a little less than an hour for that high-speed video. And I should probably do something about uh, refueling this tractor here. Let's see once. Do I have a pickup? Yeah, he's fairly close. I don't know if I can get him to stop here or not. The tractor's probably going to need fuel. Possibly all these tractors are going to need fuel. Uh-oh, 44. Oh, maybe they sorted it out. That is obviously a potential problem here. The tractors don't necessarily go all the same speed. Um, ideally, if I was doing this, I would have 12 identical tractors, 6 identical rakes, which I, I do have 6 identical rakes, and 6 identical balers. Uh, we kind of got one misfit in the bunch there with the, the Massey Ferguson. Okay, where's the uh, 4955 at? International, you seem like you're awfully far behind the rest. I don't know why. Not to carry out. Ooh, frame rate. Yes, folks, I might have to turn the uh, the quality of this down a little bit. 13 frames already. Imagine what it's going to be once we get uh, about another several thousand bales on this field. Okay, where is the 49.55 at? Uh, coming in the distance yet, maybe? Yep, I'm guessing that was probably another auto save there. Get off the bail. Are the other two tractors really that far behind? Maybe they are. Oh. There's one that just uh, drew in. Pretty sure he's probably on this win row, I'm guessing.
The uh, 49.55 was the uh, last baler I started there. Now, if I just uh, park in the way here, will he refuel? Oh, he will. Excellent. And we better be ready to hurry up and get out of the way here because he's probably going to take off as soon as he uh, is done refueling. Okay, how much fuel do you hold here? Oh, there he goes. Okay. It's one nice thing about course play. Uh, you get close to it with fuel, and uh, usually it will stop and refuel itself. Kind of a nice uh, feature there. But anyway, folks, I think with that, we better uh, wrap up this video. Uh, probably next episode, I'm going to have to make sure I remember to turn the quality, like, way down, like maybe low or something. By the time we uh, get done uh, bailing this field, there's going to be so many bales on the field, it's not even going to be uh, funny, probably. So anyway, with that, folks, we'll wrap up the video here. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them below. Also, make sure you leave them uh, below how many bales you think I'll get off this field. Leave your guesses below. And as always, folks, thanks for watching, and until next time.